Hello friends and welcome to this new HomeKit video. So I searched for the idea to integrate my mailbox into Apple HomeKit. This to avoid to have to go to the mailbox every time or so to check if I have mail or not. Especially now since I'm using Nuki, I don't have any keys on me. So I have to go inside the house, take my keys, go to the mailbox, check. So I had to look for an option for a sensor that can be placed in the mailbox that detects movement, but can still handle the far distance because my mailbox is about, I think, 17 meters away from my house and that may be even 20 meters uh, or a little bit more from the closest hub. So Bluetooth isn't an option. Then I found this EVE Motion and this EVE Motion is connected by Thread and Thread should be able to cope with that distance. Another nice thing is that it is water resistant, so the outside humidity shouldn't be a problem. And I already have an EVE product, that's my EVE Weather. You can find the video in this link. So first let's unbox the sensor, have a global look at it, and then I will do the installation. And now we see how we can set it up in an automation. There we have the HomeKit code, the little motion sensor itself, and the batteries. So how long the batteries will last depends on how much the sen sensor has to work. And of course the outside temperature, so when it's really cold outside, the battery will degrade a little bit faster, but those are easy to replace. This motion sensor also has a light sensor and it is really the same size as the EVE weather. So it has like a rubber seal that you can also feel when you close this lid and it should make it waterproof. So now let's go to the home app, add a new accessory. Let's find the sensor. Choose where it is. So it will be in the front garden. And called mailbox but as all my home kit is in French I will give the French name so you can see it is a movement sensor and it's a light sensor as well We skip this for now and it is available. So here you see the sensor. So now first let's install it in the mailbox and then we create the automation. Of course, we can place it on the side like this, but I think we'll place it under this little so now it fits upwards and it was should be able to see the letters falling on top of it much better and it will also see mail that is only sticking out but not falling down so i have placed this little metal frame on top 
to avoid my nail laying down into the wet bottom but for the sunset it shouldn't be a problem so now it's set up let's go make the automation so first go to youtube and search yourself a fine notification sound and download it with a downloading program then we have to make siri speak therefore you go to your settings and in accessibility you activate the voiceover. Then you go to notes, you write whatever you want. So I wrote in French that there is mail. And then you select this text and you make it speak out loud. Il y a du courrier. Now you assemble both notification and series sound together in whatever editing program and export it as an MP3 file. Add it to your library and sync the library to your Apple Music. Now for the automation, first you want to rename the motion sensor, as the notification should mention that it is the mailbox and not a motion detection. So go to your motion sensor and simply rename it to the name of your mailbox. And now your notification will show that there is a movement detected in your mailbox. Now we create the automation itself. Simply go to automations, add a new one, select your motion sensor, select which time. So I set a time frame to avoid having Siri speak in the middle of the night whenever there's something put in the mailbox. And then I also select that it only will speak when there's someone at home. Then select on which HomePod it should play the audio file and select which audio it should play. So here we select the file we just made. And then you can set the volume. Il y a du courrier. So let me know in the comments what you think about this solution. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video.